Soil nutrition and management plays an important role in crop production. Knowing different options for soil improvement will help you make the right decision on how to boost soil fertility and productivity. Did you know that some of the farm residues can be used as fertilizer? Let's find out more from Liverson, visiting us today from Plant Village. So what do you plant on this particular piece of land? Mm -hmm. Maize and beans. Maize and, and beans. beans. Yes. So take us through the process. Before I clear the bush, after that I farrow. I look for satisfied seeds mm -hmm. like maize and beans from the aggravate. Mm -hmm. uh, then the fertilizer. Where do you get your fertilizer? In uh, aggravate. Aggravate. Yeah. Is it affordable? No, too high, expensive. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we normally use our farmyard manure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We normally use that because of expensive. Mm -hmm. yeah. How many bags do you harvest? I, ha I do harvest in one acre, 12. 90 kg or 50 kg? Yeah, 90 kg. 90 kg, 12 yeah. bags? 12 bags oh, in 12 one bags. acre. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is after you have, you have added the fertilizer? I've added there the fertilizer, okay. but I've not top dressed again twice. Mm -hmm. we, we don't have Simply because mm -hmm. the, the input is expensive. Expensive. All right. Yeah. 12, 90 kg bags. Yeah, and mm -hmm. the input is expensive. Mm -hmm. So if I calculate uh, profit, it's minimum because mm -hmm. uh, when I check on the cost of production, mm -hmm. it will be so high. So I'll advise you in um, using the best fertilizer. Yes. Uh, that is the biochar. Biochar. Yeah, biochar is a product from burning uh, the wood mm -hmm. uh, under high temperatures. Yeah. yeah. Burning wood burning. at high uh, temperatures. At high temperatures mm -hmm. and a minimum uh, oxygen. You can just uh, prepare the biochar on your farm. Mm -hmm. So when you have just cleared your bush yeah. Yeah. or any plant residues in your farm, just go and dig a, a conical hole oh. on your farm. Take those plant residues, place them on that hole, start burning that, uh, uh, that plant residue. Mm -hmm. So when they are burning, when you see uh, the first batch has already burned, because it will form something like a black substance. Yes. yes. When it's finished burning, add, a, add so another material. So it's layer after layer after layer, layer, after layer of material. Layer after layer of the material. Okay. So when you see uh, you have finished burning everything, just take your water, go and uh, spray on that uh, fire, mm -hmm. then it, it goes it off. off yeah. Yeah. Plenty yeah. of water? Uh, not plenty of water, just to put off the fire. So when you put off the fire, you have made your biogen. Wow. It's simple. It's that simple. It's that so simple. you mean you, we are not going to buy? When you produce that thing in that conical hole, that is biochar. Biochar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, we are going to add some nutrients into it. Oh. That is the NPK, nitrogen, mm -hmm. phosphorus, and uh, potassium. potassium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are going to add it. So there's a special compound that is being added to that biochar. Mm -hmm. That is the amanda so that you can get the planting fertilizer oh. and the top dressing fertilizer. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but for the biochar, you can produce it in your farm. Oh. Yeah. So how many bags do we need? You only need three bags per half an acre. You only need one bag for the biochar and uh, two bags for the planting fertilizer. 50 kg? 50 kg is all. After making your own biochar, buy Amanda NPK to add when planting. Use a handful of biochar and a handful of Amanda NPK to help get better yields. Biochar helps you cut cost by using less fertilizer. So our fertilizer will improve your soil pH and then you can also do the what is called a, a dry planting. Mm. Because with the normal fertilizer you can't do a dry planting, the fertilizer will burn the seeds. Okay? Yeah. So for this one you can just add it into the hole, place your seeds, and then wait for the rain. Mm -hmm. So when you have that biochar, first of all it's going to have uh, water retention on the soil mm -hmm. so that uh, when it rains, the water does not drip uh, mm -hmm. deep down deep. into the soil mm -hmm. or does not evaporate easily, it yes. catches it. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the char has uh, some properties. Mm -hmm. It has a honeycomb. Have you seen the honey yeah. that combs yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. those channels inside? Yeah? Mm -hmm. So when you burn this char, mm -hmm. it has some properties inside. When you check it under uh, a microscope, it has some those uh, holes inside. Yeah? Yeah. So when it rains, the water 
percolates in, the, in, in mm -hmm. those holes, those holes. Then it retains it. Mm -hmm. So when the roots of the plant are penetrating deep, they will be penetrating inside, the, inside those holes. So it holds the soil moisture. Mm -hmm. And also it prevents leaching of the uh, soil nutrients. Mm -hmm. Leaching of the soil nutrients is where calcium, uh, sodium, mm -hmm. they get leached into, in, inside, in, deep mm -hmm. into the soil such that the plant can't reach those nutrients. Mm -hmm. So for this one, it holds those mm -hmm. nutrients, they can't be leached, yeah. okay? And your plant will become healthy by getting those nutrients, getting the water, and you'll get a bumper harvest. Ah, yeah. okay. All right, nice. That's good. That is good. For more information on the biochar fertilizer, get in touch with Aishamba.